Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. So we need to look at a better um, setup. So what I'm excited about today is I've got this shirt on. It's just a, a casual shirt that I created. Can you see that? So what's happening with um, fabric is it's soft material, it's uh, soft paint. And I thought, would it be fun if I came on today and we painted together, all right? So I'm gonna go like this so I can see you guys. And hello, Gilbert, thank you. And Patricia, um, let's hope that today it lets me talk to people, yes? So say something else, Patrick. So let's see if, oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Hi. Hey, Melinda, Patricia. And uh, let's see. Pat, I miss you, girl. Um, so, oh, my goodness, there you guys are. So you know what? Everybody in my house is quiet tonight. And so I thought, I'm just going to get on and do some fabric painting with you. So thank you for coming on. And yeah, I got a little bit of a haircut, you think? <laughs> so it's got some dark in the back. So it is. It's just short, short, short. So um, that's okay. It'll grow out. I um, had to do some fixing up on my hair. So uh, <laughs> Gilbert, maybe you don't ask the lady, what does that mean? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't unplug the phone. I'll be right back, sorry. We'll give a few people a chance to get here. I'm live, can I tell you that? Did I get you in a bad time? Okay, so the first thing you are going to say is she wasn't prepared. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Hello, Joan and Gilbert. <laughs> you love it. You love it that I'm a crazy person. I told you I'm here alone. And I thought uh, Mark is busy doing um, paperwork and is quiet. And I'm tired of the TV. So uh, you finally catch me live. Hello, Miss Joan and Rosalie and Marie. Hello. Hi. I love it when you guys come from other countries. That's so fun. This is just the pumpkin shirt. And actually, I just want to show you all some fun things that we can do on a shirt very quick. And this is just an um, exercise shirt. But if you just got on, this had some flowers and this black ink is a marker then, a permanent marker. And you can, after everything is dry, you can go and do detail on it. But I thought, um, I have done a few of those before. And so I thought, let me go on. And hello, Miss Janet and Edward. Hello from Canada. And so listen, we're building YouTube. And my YouTube, Donna Dewberry channel hit 99,000 today, right? Yeah, 99,000 today. So we are going to have a Zoom pajama party. And we're going to have guys on there too. So we're going we're gonna to be able to talk on Zoom to each other. And so we hope to have a big, huge party the minute I hit, well, not the minute, as soon as I hit 100,000, which maybe will be in about 10 days, then I'm going to have this huge party. And I want all you guys to come join. And we're going to paint something. I'll do something fun for us. And um, we, I need to celebrate with you guys who made it happen. So I think 100,000 is a big step. I'm so excited. And so it's kind of crazy. I'm on TikTok for the younger group. And and we're going viral on some things over there and it's getting pretty great. And so we want to be here on YouTube because coronavirus drove me to this. So I could just be out there with you guys and hope and inspire you and inspire me too. And see, when I, when I talk that I lose people, they tell me not to talk, just to paint. So uh, and I came up live. See, that's good. 
So yes, uh, congratulations to all you guys for helping me. It's so wonderful. All right, so let's get some paint. So I put, let's, let's go down and see what we're gonna do. And we are gonna use um, my double loader because it'll keep the paint from running around. I put a fabric medium. And I had this idea that I'm gonna use metallic on black. So these are color shifts. And there are all kinds of pretty colors with our fabric creation, fabric inks. But I just want you to see that if I come in here, I'm unscrewing the lids to make it easier. Um, this color shift turns all these beautiful metallic colors. Now I also have um, metallics that are all these colors, but color shift gives you even more. So it's kind of fun. So metallics are straight paint. We're gonna have our medium. I've got aqua flash, lime flash, and oh, what is that one called? That one's orange flash, pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I'm going to, do I want some purple? Let's put some purple. All right, and there's some garnet colors. And I'm just gonna create this with you. So does that sound fun? Let's just create some fun. Here's a green. What color is this one? This is Dragon Flash. So it's got a dragon color, which will be really pretty. Okay. And so see, it's color shift. So folk art color shift. There we go. Color shift. All right. Then I'm going to even have some brushed metal. So it's all about metallics. Now I've got a couple of tricks about the shirt. And I want to share that with you before I get too far into this. And I like this. I told you so it doesn't run all over, all over the place, this double loader. And that's, it works really good. These three are really good together. So maybe I'll do those three in the line, but we'll see. Um, what I wanted to share with you is that usually it runs all over my foam plate and, and gets all over it everywhere. And this way it keeps it. So it just stays where I want it to, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do, I can put a stencil on the back. There's all kinds of things I can do before I start painting. And what I wanna share with you is that I like to use 50-50 heavyweight t-shirts, all right? But this, I got a ton of these shirts at Dollar Tree, all right? And they were Dollar Tree. How much are things at Dollar Tree? A dollar. All right, so I pulled out my scissors and I moved them. But what I want to, oh, here, there. I want you to see, guys, that because it's a knit cotton, you can go around and cut out the band and it does not ravel. Okay, I just want to show you. It's kind of fun. I sometimes slice the the band on the sleeve. I'm gonna cut it all the way off past this band. All right, but you don't see that right now. So let me show you. All right. Okay, so I also like, it's up to you. I need to really be centered. I like to put a little slit and some ladies just turn it under. It's up to you guys, um, but it's not gonna ravel. So it makes it really nice. I know, I'm worried about this black. Make it look too blown out here. Okay, let's move it away. There we go. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen with just the colors we pick. Now, I'm gonna cut this all the way off and I can even cut the tag off, which these were great to teach. See, I wanna show you. I've got it in a form. You can do, I put, press and seal in between here. I put, you can put foil, you can put cardboard, and this is one of my shirt forms I used to make. All right, so look what happens here. We're gonna come and decide, first of all, let's get some medium and let's pick up just one corner of this brush and, and paint. So now I want you to see that I'm going to keep picking this up and make the shape of a leaf. I want to come over here and get closer so you can see. Now this is the green, but if you notice, we'll get some 
Lots of gold in there, right? All right, so the more I put here, I want to show you a couple different tricks. All right, so so there we are. Come on, let's come over here, and it's too much uh, too much light. So let me turn that off. There we go. All right, you ready? Okay, so let's come here. Let's get some more, and let's only do the outside outside because I want black in the middle. So see how cool that looks? So this is where it's solid and I'm going to get some licorice because I can show you with the licorice and if you dip into their fabric meeting each time you touch your paint then it keeps it all soft. All right, so I can come right in here with the licorice, see how that works, or I can pull, it. see I ended up painting too much of it, so look, I can bring that licorice back in there and since I covered it with the black, and then I can come in and put a new stem in the middle. All right, so there's no mistakes. How good is that? All right. So I'm just going to, I just wanted to paint something really quick and fun with you guys. So let's look at what we're going to do next. Come on. There we are. No, I'm coming too far. That's what it is. Okay. So what you want to do is do the exact same thing on the other side. So let's get right here. All right. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So right here. <clears throat> we just want to slide in. You can see me grabbing it here. All right, let's get some more here. I think this is going to be good. So invite your friends if they're out there to come watch us. We're going to create something fun together. Now watch this. One, two, three, four to a point. All right, then I'm going to bring it back and then bring the stem in the middle. All right, so I just have a leaf there and leaves there. And let's do, let's take some orange flash along with some of this bronze color. So this is going to have some orange in it. Okay. Get some bronze. Okay, so we can decide, and this kind of fun, you're just deciding when you as you go. But I can just hit right here and just do orange. And this is a three-quarter inch flat brush. Any questions y'all ask me? Did you buy in store or online? Did you buy this shirt in recent days? I went to Dollar Tree a week ago in my area. They usually have kids shirts, but they had a whole bunch of 1X and 2X. So I'm one of those bad people. I bought them all because in my classes, we have fun doing things, but we go to Walmart a lot. And, you know, even you sometimes can even get great shirts like this at Walmart on a dollar table. They will put them out there. But if not, you can get them for under $5 and do the same thing we're doing. And this is 100% cotton, so it's not my favorite. It doesn't hold up as well as far as looking fresh, but it washes and doesn't come out. So it washes and doesn't come out of your shirt. So how cool is that? So you'll see I'm still going in to the center of the leaf. Okay, I've strung some here. I can wipe it off a little bit. If you get right there while it's still not dry, you can take water and wipe it off. I've got a spot over here that is dry. All right, so now color shift means it's kind of like that automotive industry where it has all kinds of colors. And so the car drives by you and you go, oh, that's a purple, purple car. And then you go, oh, no, that's a gold car. So this is what Color Shift does for you. And it's kind of fun.
because when this dries, you're going to get all this iridescent. So this is definitely orange, but you can't tell. But in my light, it's purple. Practice your techniques, and it didn't turn out the same. So you have to keep practicing, Jeremy. It does take some work. and But if you do my practice classes, it really helps. Um, where do you buy your painting? My painting? Um, the things, uh, everything I sell, you can get on our Facebook group or you can get on my site. Okay. So I want you to see, and that's onestart.com. It's right here always on our YouTube um, sessions and videos that I do. It tells you how to get everything. And if you want holiday stuff, I just opened a Dewberry holiday store and it is Dewberry holiday store dot square written out dot site. All brand new. You got to go check it out. Okay. All right. So now I just came in there with some little vines and stems. This one's way lower and I didn't notice it was. So let's, let's come here. Okay, let's do something really pretty now. Let's come in here. Thank you for coming on today. All right, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do a big flower. And I'm using this ruby color. Any metallic is gonna look pretty, but all right, I got this down here. Same on the, this is my three quarter inch brush. I haven't changed it so far. All right, so. I'm going to come in here, and when you're laying out a design, guys, I want you to see that we need a triangle, but we can make double triangles, all right? So look at this, one, two, three, we got another triangle, but we don't want it in a straight row, so I'm going to one, two, let's do another one here, and I'm taking lots of paint, do you see that? And if it's not fabric um, inks like I use on this shirt, then I've got to bring the fabric medium in here. And it'll keep it soft. Okay. So they recommend that you pre-wash this. Of course, I didn't pre-wash it. I break all the rules, right? Okay. So. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and add a few more. I want to see what y'all think when we've got this all going here. So let's put a purple one since that color shift looks kind of purple. This is purple flash. See, to you, I don't think you can appreciate it, but when you see my finished piece, I, um, what brush are you using? I am still using my um, my brushes, my Donna Dewberry brushes. Okay. So this purple is going to really add in here. Purple flash. These are not our necessarily our fabric paint. This folk art fabric creation fabric inks is what I usually use. That's what I use on the shirt I got on. Y'all see this shirt I have on? Oops, here we are. So I just took my colors and went back and forth, back and forth. And then when after it all dried, then I use this my Idena pen that we sell. And it's a permanent marker, and you just outline and put detail on it. And I have a whole packet that shares this with you. Yeah, there we go. I'm going too far. There it is. Okay, so, so far, do you see what I'm doing? I'm bringing, this is looking purple, but so are those leaves that were orange. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. There's some orange. There's some orange. All right, so let's think of some other colors in here. So see, I'm, I'm building, this is what I want you to see. It's like um, a swag around the neck. And if you look at some of my YouTube paintings I've done, I've done swags around the neck of shirts during the holiday time. So if you go look at all of them, you'll see that. And all these lessons I have on whatstore.com, you can see all these lessons I teach full length lessons and you go get all the supplies and we paint together and you can rewatch and rewatch. Okay. So, so far I'm just using the three quarter inch brush, nothing else. All right. So I've used all those colors up. You use a lot. 
Then I can come in here with this line. Let's do a little teeny bit of little strokes with lime. All right, now I promise you when you see the picture of this posted, you're gonna say, wow, look at those colors. Okay, and the other thing I like to do, so we're doing this so far and I'm not doing detail yet. We're gonna do detail, so you don't wanna miss it, so don't go away. I promise you, you will be happy if you wait. I know they said the average person stays for three minutes. Please stay and see what we're gonna do, all right? So I'm going to put those bright green in there, all right? And you can change brushes and put some small ones, that's great too, all right? But then look at this aqua. This is gonna be yummy. Some little aqua pieces. There we go. So I don't know if it's necessarily fall, but I wanted to do like leaves and show you. This is what I do. I find my favorite legumes, legumes or something that I would wear, exercise pants, whatever. And then you can wear a tank under this, cut out the neck really big and just wear a casual hand painted. And so you can say, I did it myself. So aqua's nice. This aqua just pops. And we just got it in again. So people, because we've been out of paints because of the pandemic. And we have so many people can't find the paints in the store, but we got them. Okay. So, so far, that's all we're doing is just leaves and those circles. Now, watch what I do. I'm going to wash this brush. And I'm going to pick up licorice. So I'm going to pick up, oops, let's put out some more red. It's garnet, wasn't it? Raspberry. Okay, so raspberry and purple. I still have purple. All right, so I'm going to dip raspberry and pick up the licorice. Raspberry, licorice. Okay, so look what happens. I'm going to take... Let's go close. I want to show you these two flowers. So I keep getting the licorice. And the licorice is what's on the outside and the back of the shirt, the shirt itself. So right now, watch this. I'm going to go around. Okay. And I keep picking up licorice. All right. So come around and we're just going to make these little strokes around the outside. Okay. All right. Let's make a bigger one right here. All right. I've got too much licorice. I switched sides on us. Okay. There we go. All right. So I'm going to come around. all the way around this way. Okay, now I pick up more of our metallic. Now watch, this one's gonna be hanging down. Can you see? Okay, so after you do these strokes out here. All right, now look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go chop, 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 chop. In front, another one. All right, so it's going to be chisel, chisel, chisel. Up on this edge of the brush is a chisel. Okay, so look, I'm going to curve it out, curve it out, and curve it out. Okay, so what's going to happen is that you're going to get these rose effects very simply. All right. So you have the rosebud. I'm going to get a lot more black, which is licorice on here. Oh, there we go. So we just need to come up with that and get that look. Now, let's look at this one. We can come up here and watch this. I'm going to go around. 
All right, just the upper part. Now this is good, so watch this. Black shirts like this. I know it's fun on black shirts, okay? So what do y'all think? Let's pick up some, some right in here. Then some strokes in front. So we're going to lean it out, lean it out. Now watch what happens. I keep picking up black. I'm going to lean this out again. Now I'm going to come out around here. And I'm just barely picking up that licorice, guys. So what happens here is that I can make little waves. See how I do the licorice? Watch it. It leans out, leans out, and comes across. Now, every once in a while, I dip into the medium, the fabric medium, so that it still works really good for me. Now, what I want is just sparkle on here. And so we have so much great metallic going on here that if you just come here with some rosebuds, see that rosebud? It's going to be a real simple... I need another one. I'll show you on another one here. Okay, so let's come over here to the purple. All right, so I'm going to wipe this off, and I'm going to go get my purple. Okay, so let's pick up the licorice. See that? Now, I'm going to come right here to the purple, and let's just do a rosebud. So where am I? There we are, up and over. And there's another one and another one and another one. All right, so that's all we're gonna do. Now, when you're looking at it for me, it's got blues and purples on it and it's got a really nice look. So this one's hanging down. Let's get a little bit in front and another little bit in front and another one. So you can just use in front of that and that's all and it gives you this great look. Okay, so we're, I've got some more over here with the purple. Let's go right here. Let's see. Right here we got two. I'm cheating you by not letting you see, man. We need to pick out colors that look really good with the light shining on it. But I'm promising you, when you see it all done, you're going to say, wow, that looked way better than it did when we were painting it. Okay, so thanks for coming on, guys. <laughs> yes, thank you. So just like this, with all that pretty metallic. So so what happens now is, do we have any more? We got one more, two more, all right? What happens is then we're going to work on our leaves and some little fun. I put sometimes take a bottle with a tip on it. And I squeeze out and do detail around like a liner brush. It's hard to do a liner with this. But I want you to see that we can come in all of these leaves and make stems. So it makes sense. See here with stems. All right. And that really adds to these pretty leaves. All right, so I even come over here where we get blues and up here. Now we have all kinds of pretty glitter paints. So we can sparkle glitter all over. But I want you to know I did a big oversized flower. I have three packets of oversized flowers for shirts how-to packets with big patterns. And you can even do this on polyester stretchy material, guys. And it looks wonderful. It doesn't crack. It's good. All right? So you see all the stems in there? So that adds to it. And then what's fun is you can take, uh, let's take a script liner. I'll show you the little liner. I'm going to take our liner and add some white if I want to. I don't know how white will do, but we can try it. So I take the Fabric Unicorn, which is fantasy glitter, and I speckle this with it, and it makes it really nice. This is white. Okay, 
So look what happens. I can come out here and let's add thicker white with this liner, but it kind of disappears as you start working on it. Um, it disappears into black pretty easily. All right. Yes, the shirt I'm wearing is a packet and it's got all the patterns. There's an apron, there's all kinds of uh, pillow that I did, um, all with this fun, different, quick and easy designs. Okay, so see these flowers are the same way I just did, but then I took my um, my IdentiPen, and we sell those IdentiPens right there with this. This is all on the Dewberry Holiday site I told you guys about, so don't miss out on that, okay? And you can get the whole pumpkin extravaganza of designs in there. So see, you can take this liner if you want to and go around but the white's going to soak in pretty fast because it's black. All right, so I'm barely touching it. Where am I at? Let's see, where are we? Right here. So look, I can come up here, pull little lines in there. But what I like to share with this is that you can wash and dry it and have no problem. Usually I say if you hand paint it, and wash it with dishes or with fabric. So what do you think? Is this fun being with me tonight? I like to share new, new, new techniques that you might not have. The pen is awesome. I have to go look. Yeah, the pen is an identa pen and it has a bigger tip and a fine tip tip on the other end. And we have them in stock and they're wonderful. You can get a package of multiple color ones. They're like $2.99, but I use the black mostly. And after I get through painting everything, now I wouldn't use it a lot on this one because we're on black, but everything else I use it. Now see, so see how those curls, they just really kind of add to it. And you can do a scruffy. Let me see, this is my scruffy brush. Let's see the scruffy brush. It's a, a special brush and I, can take this purple flash and the gold. Let's see how that looks. And look, I can tap in here. Oh, that's good. Look, I can just come out here and tap little bits of metallic that look like they're little flowers. Look at this and have some of that coming down. Now the scruffy brush, you have to fluff it before you use it, but I teach you all of this in our practice lessons. So how to use a scruffy, so go look at that. It's a dry brush, you, you can't use water on it. But see how those little sprays of wisteria in there? See, little sprays. And so you, I like to cover anything I'm not happy with, <laughs> is what I tell people. And then they say, well, my whole thing would be covered. But I have to tell you, when you put on, when you make something and you put it on and wear it, I'm telling you, from tennis shoes to um, hats to tote bags, and I buy a lot of those uh, Dollar Tree tote bags too, and um, they make a really nice gift, and people really like to carry them with their painting on it. So make it simple. Don't make anything hard. You see what I'm just showing you? Uh, simple, go learn some of these simple leaves on my practice. Look, take it all the way up over the shoulder. Oop, it needs something right in here, doesn't it? I don't want to cover up my curl. Okay, so I still, there's different things I can still add in here. Okay, but now what we're going to do is I use that metallic or the glitter is what I was going to tell you. But let's take, I'm going to put water and tap it into white or silver or gold. There's all kinds of you can think of colors that you can use. Um, I probably should use that green. Oh, this is going to look good. So look what I'm doing. I take this and I'm hitting this metal flat. This is a fan brush. And this fun? Are you with me? All right, you're going to tap this 
and try to get the white to stay. Let's see. Can y'all see that? Now, so if this is glitter, you have all this fun glitter. I'm going to take it all the way over here. I have literally white speckles all the time, gold speckles all over my computer. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to pick up some green. There we go. So look what I'm doing. I'm not wetting this with water. I'm doing all of that lime. And it sometimes flings. More paint. Now the shirt I have on, I didn't actually flick. I usually always flick. But see, this gives it some rich looks. And what I used to do is you can go get and set rhinestones in here, all kinds of different stones in here and make it really fun. So this is a doll. Thank you, Miss Melinda. This is, are you selling the glitter too, Donna? Yes, we have glitter. Um, it's, we have fabric, fantasy glitter for fabric creation, fantasy glitter, which is under the fabrics. Um, if you go to onestore.com, you can look under fabric paints and you, we have a gold and the silver for sure that are metallic and glittery. All right. And so, but I love unicorn, by the way, it's iridescent. It goes, it makes this like purplish and it picks up whatever color. Okay. So how fun is that? I'm going to try to put it back at myself and see if I can um, show you and see if it shows better. Can you see the color a little bit better? I think so, where it doesn't have that glare. All right, so see the splattering I did? All right, isn't that kind of fun? And then I sign it, and the best part is I wear it. So I'm probably gonna put this on tomorrow, and who knows, I might come by back on and just do a little special for you. Um, so if you like it, do me a favor, share it with your friends. We have 99,000 people as of this afternoon that have subscribed on our channel here. And that's, that's me being so grateful to you. I was so tickled that 99,000 today that I had to come on and paint some more with you. So thank you guys and do something great for somebody that you love. I have to tell you that um, I painted something really wonderful for my grandson and I did every little detail he asked for. And to have that picture of him smiling is amazing. And it isn't my normal painting, but it made him so happy. And I have done numerous times, I have 29 grandbabies, numerous times I have gotten these little shirts and because they don't probably won't keep it long. So I just go to Dollar Tree and get the Dollar Tree shirts. And I made them each like, a unicorn for Paisley. I do. Um, what is it, Mr. Grinch? I've done all kinds of stranger things and stuff, whatever they like. And painting on fabric is so much fun. And and it's okay if they don't keep it forever because kids run and grow out of it really fast. But it's a really wonderful fun. Um, and thank you for the likes, thumbs up. That is really wonderful. It makes me know that maybe you do like me coming on. Um, it's fun. I enjoy being here with you guys and I hope you guys had a good night tonight um, and go watch this again and paint. So I may, I went a little bit faster than normal, but you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Um, will you uh, say, oh, so please go to my, it's brand new. My husband had this great idea who woke up and was dreaming about it. He said, we need a holiday store. So the holiday store will change at the first of the year and we'll be doing Valentine's and Easter and spring and Mother's Day. But right now, when you go to my website, it's big. And so instead of every little bottle of paint and every little brush and everything, I just have a set of brushes. And if you want the paints, you have to go to onestart.com and we have those, so it's really wonderful. But this is called Dewberries. Dewberry, Dewberry, Dewberry Holiday Store. And so the website is dewberryholidaystore.square, S-Q-U-A-R-E, 
square, and that's the site that we merchandise site, dot site, Dewberry Holiday Store dot square dot site. So go check it out. And there's all kinds of packets and all for the holiday, for the fall holidays. And I have all kinds of Ikea pillows. Those Ikea pillows are $4 and you can paint, paint, paint. And they even sell you the forms and you can decorate with your pillows. You can even paint on each side of the pillow for different seasons from Halloween to fall. And I have all that on there, all the Christmas, all the wood packets and, and the online lessons for the holidays are all in one, one place. So go check it out. Um, thank you. Isn't that kind of fun? So you can see when the, when the light hits it, there's different, it turns different colors. All right. So, and I made that up as we were going. So I think that you would like it if you started just painting, you could do the pumpkin like I did. So let me show you that I took a piece of chalk and I drew the shape of a pumpkin. Can y'all see that? This is an exercise shirt. So I just did it really quick and I drew how big I wanted the pumpkin to be and make sure it's high enough. This is a really kind of big, but then I worked on the flowers. So I made big circles of orange and circles of lavender and circles of pink. And I repainted and repainted them because I tried different things. So what I ended up doing is mostly do a wisp of little white and the black ink is in the pattern and has that whole shape and design of how to trace that black ink on there. It's um, identipins. They're right there in the holiday site identipins and they're permanent they don't oh the difference is a lot of people want to use have used sharpies but my experience i got stuck at a convention and i ran out of my identipen actually i put my identipen on wet paint and then it ruined the tip so i had to go get a sharpie really quick and let me tell you what happened with the sharpie the first time i washed it it turned gray and it didn't stay black and so the Sharpies that scare me because that's what's happened every time we've tried using them, they fade and they are not resilient. And so when I did the identipen, it's the ones we used to use, the official ones that we used when I was in gym way back then on my gym clothes where we had to write it in the tag. So, um, so I hope you guys liked my little sneak peek. Um, people have asked, there's my oversized painting that's in my dining room. That's the first oversized I ever painted. So isn't that fun? So there's so much to share with you guys, but I want to thank you for being on tonight. Please share with your friend that they, because this goes right back on my site, my YouTube channel, and please share with them that they can watch lots of fun lessons. I just painted, what did I paint on? Oh, I painted on pumpkins, on those fake pumpkins, on real pumpkins. Um, I have, this is something that I am doing for coming up on YouTube. And I teach you all these little petals and the dreamy background. See the background? That background's really fun. And it just happens with a sponge. And my all-time biggest, uh, uh, besides roses, the biggest hit right now is a Dollar Tree pumpkin and the Dollar Tree buffalo plaid Christmas candle and ornaments. So please go watch. But better off, share and ask your people to join us, okay? Ask your buddies to join us. Thank you. I will see you um, later and I hope you have a great weekend, okay? Hey, Miss Paula McCoy. Hey, Marie. Thank you for coming, Sharon. Love you guys. Just a surprise sitting here alone. Can't be alone. I can't relax. I've just got to paint, paint, paint. And by the way, today's live on Facebook, I did two fun new projects. So Blue Willow packet, a Blue Willow packet full of flowers. And I did some beautiful snow woods with cardinals all in the trees. So go check it. Donna Dewberry's official one-stroke group on Facebook. Thank you. Bye-bye.